What is going on YouTube is Flawfish here and welcome to the first installment of Team Build Tuesdays in NHL 15 and I'm super excited to bring you guys this series again and for those who are unfamiliar with it all it is is that I'm pretty much building a team in Hut and whether it has a theme or it's just some players that play well together or something like that. Uh, it's it's going to be a bit of a fun series this year and I'm really looking forward to it and today's kind of theme or whatever for the team build is just kind of who I've been playing with off the initial uh, drop of the game again I've only been playing for about four hours or so and have I think like eight games played or something like that so I, I've got a decent team here it's able to keep up with like the Crosby team that I faced earlier the guy had a ridiculously stacked team and uh, it was actually able to compete with that which is pretty good and to compete with those types of teams you need what you have on the first line you have some speed and you have some finishing power right here so again Bodker and Helm two of the faster players in the game Bodker is actually fairly cheap right now too which is really nice but again fast and the speed is there the playmaking abilities are there and Darren Helm's actually pretty solid on the faceoffs this year as well so that's why I'm excited to run him and then Joel Ward this guy again I am being 100% serious here try him out he has seven goals in eight games for me he's just been an absolute monster at finishing plays and stuff like that he just always seems to find that one area to shoot and score a goal from so i again i'd highly suggest you guys try him out there he's fairly cheap right now and definitely worth the pucks from my my experiences because he's been absolutely wrecking teams and he can hit really solid as well uh so on to the second line we're speaking of hitting we have chris Kreider, um craig smith and we have Yuri Hoodler. So the reason why I have Hoodler on this line is because it's going to be difficult to find some right wing playmakers that are quick in this game. And Yuri Hoodler's one of the few that are, and that's without applying like obviously a center to right wing or something like that. And so that's why I have Hoodler there. He's a natural right wing playmaker with good speed and good offensive stats. Kind of complements this entire line well as Craig Smith, again, very solid two way guy, good on the face offs, just good overall. And then you have Chris Kreider, who's kind of more of the finisher for this line. He definitely drives the net pretty hard. Uh, the first game with them, I took a goaltender interference penalty with them, and it looked like the goalie was actually injured, uh, which is absolutely hilarious. It's kind of dying in laughter at the fact of it. But yeah, he can skate, he can hit, and he can finish decently. So uh, for an initial team, this is definitely a pretty solid line. Um, now on to the next line where we have Brad Marchand, Brad Richards, and Patrick Cornquist. Now, Patrick Cornquist, I didn't realize how good he was doing for me. He's actually got uh, four goals and one assist in five games. And this line actually has been pretty solid. Richards has five assists and Marchand has like a goal and three assists or a goal and four assists. They both have eight games played and Hornquist has five. But again, same thing with this line. A little bit speedy on the wings. Richards definitely is slower in game. You definitely notice it. But he always seems to be in a position to either receive the puck or to pass it really easily. And that's why I think this line clicks really well is because Marchand's good at getting to the loose pucks and kind of uh, his checking, like his stick checking is very good. Uh, it doesn't doesn't show on his card, but he definitely wins a lot of stick battles and stuff like that, and he can hit, and he can also make plays as uh, an offensive player to kind of free the puck up for Richards, and Richards is definitely one of the best passers on this team. I think he is the best passer on this team. Uh, just for whatever reason, his passing is really solid, and he tends to make nice little saucer passes, nice little regular passes that always seem to hit and uh, it definitely really helps when you have a finisher like Cornquist, guy with a little bit of speed and some great shooting skill on that as well. So um, onto the fourth line and again this is the line that's kind of thrown together a little bit. Uh, not 100% final but we do have, it is solid. Like this line, I keep my fourth line in hot normally as a line that uh, I'd, I'll change to in the offensive zone if my other three lines are a little bit fatigued just to kind of keep the play down there. And again, this line does just that. Perot's decent enough on faceoffs, and Reed and Higgins are good at both skating and shooting and kind of protecting the puck. Uh, overall, again, probably not the best line. I'm not a big fan of Higgins so far this year. Reed, I do like. He's a little bit faster, a little bit better than what his card says so far. Same with Perot, but. Um, Again, yeah, it's probably not the best line you could def you could run on a fourth line, but it's something that's been working for me lately. So, uh, just in the early early stages of the game, it it's solid. I think I would swap out Higgins, but um, I really don't know who to swap him with right now. So, onto the defensive side of things, we have Trevor Daly 
on the uh, left defense area over here and Brian Ellis on the right D. Now these guys were both fairly cheap for me. I bought them under 1K each. I think I bought daily for like 950 and Ellis for 800. So uh, they're fast, they've got good shots, they've got good hands and they're good defensively. I Daily's really good defensively. Ellis is kind of meh, but he gets, he gets the puck and let me tell you, he can skate as fast, if not faster than Bodker, which is saying something because Bodker's ridiculously fast in this game. In fact, Ellis has skated faster than Helm for me. So uh, that, that's pretty ridiculous. That's why I like that pairing. It's got the speed and you can kind of move the puck pretty quickly out of your own end. Now on to the next pairing, we have Lucas Sabiza, who's, you know, for a two-way defenseman, is solid. He's not, obviously, uh, not my favorite two-way defenseman I've ever had in this game, but he, he's definitely solid. I, I like the, I like his kind of overall abilities. He's not that fast, which I don't like, and his passing is a little bit off as well as he does have a weaker shot, but because he has a weaker shot, you pair him up with someone like Rasmus Ristolainen, who, guess what? He has a cannon of a shot. He only has a 79 shooting. When you look at his card, he's 6'4", 220. That's going to add some shot power, and it's really, really going to make a difference, and he can skate. He is slow. I will say that. He is slow, but he can kind of control the puck a little bit, and he can hit, which is nice, but his shot is definitely his biggest asset. He's going to be someone I want to boost up to 99 overall and try out. Now to the third defense pairing, we have Calvin DeHaan, who I've just played only in one game, but really like the way he plays actually in two games. But like the way he plays, he's fast, he's got a decent shot, and he's got good hands, and he just seems to jump up. For an offensive defenseman, he does seem to jump up quite a bit via the AI, which is nice because he can find them for the backdoor plays and stuff like that. But... On the right side, we have Michael Stone, and I, yeah, it's Michael Stone. Uh, he is definitely a solid two-way defenseman for the early stages. Again, his card stats seem kind of low for what they are. He seems a little bit faster than that, a little bit better shooting, a little bit better hands, and a little bit better checking in defense. But again, just kind of someone who's left over and who's playing fairly well for me. And in net, in net to start right now, we do have Peter Budai, who's been playing very well for me. Uh, he's definitely made some big saves, a couple weaker goals, but you're going to get those no matter what goal you run. So here's what I run on the power play. The first unit is Bodker, Helm, and Ward with Ristolainen and Spiza. Uh, I would have Daly and Ellis on there. It's just it's easier for me to rest these guys up on the power play a little bit. So, um, And the second unit is Kreider, Richards, and Hornquist. I like Kreider's checking ability just to kind of get down, get the pucks in the corners and stuff a little bit more than Marchand and anyone else actually on this team. So that's why he's there. Richards, one of the best passers in this game for me. So you got to have him setting up people on the power play. And again, the good combo on the on the blue line there. So again, fourth line or four man power play penalty kill. Again, you're going to see Joel Ward a lot in these because he is really, really good for me. Um, and then the backup goalie is Red O'Bara. I like the way he played in the first few games for me. I just swapped him out with Peter Budai, and Peter Budai played pretty solid for me. And the coach is Fiddler right now, just because, I mean, I don't have Samuels or the plus three skating coach. But yeah, that's about it for the team, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are on this team. Uh, again, if there's one person I can highly recommend for you guys to try out, it is Joel Ward. He's cheap right now to buy, and he is an absolute monster. Again, seven goals in eight games for me. And he's fast, he can hit, and he just he has that finishing touch, which is something that's pretty cool to see. Anyways, guys, as always, take it easy, and I'll catch you guys on the flop side.